This project was aimed at understanding the accuracy and dynamics of an accelerometer in order, in order to determine its viability in measuring the position of a laptop. The accelerometer operates as a function of mass position. There are six metal plates with a mass situated perfectly in the center of them. These metal plates act as capacitors and the mass affects the reluctance of the system. As accelerometer position changes, mass position changes, corresponding to a change in reluctance, thus inciting a voltage drop across the metal plates. This voltage drop can be analyzed to determine acceleration due to the gravity felt by the central mass, thus giving us information about the position sensed by the accelerometer. The accelerometer was taped to a cardboard trifold board with a protractor secured at the bottom. There was a vertical box placed behind the trifold to provide a 90 degree stopping point. The accelerometer was connected to the board power supply and the MIDAC using jumper cables and banana clips. From the MIDAC, the data goes to the computer and is seen on the lab view here. The static experiment consisted of starting the trifold at zero degrees and increasing it in 10 degree increments to 90 degrees, then decreasing in 10 degree increments back to zero degrees. Output voltage, index number, and angle readings were taken at each increment. The dynamic experiment consisted of starting the accelerometer at 90 degrees, then rapidly decreasing its position to 45 degrees. Output voltage and time data were collected during this portion of testing, allowing for the plotting of step responses. The following clip shows the dynamic testing procedure. Go. From the data gathered, we plotted output voltage versus angle reading, which can be seen here. We then plotted the output voltage versus gravity, which was used to calculate the various uncertainties as well as the static sensitivity. These plots can be seen here. From the output voltage versus gravity plots, we were able to calculate the various uncertainties related to the measurement system and the static experiment itself. These uncertainties contribute to the design stage uncertainty, experimental uncertainty, and overall error, and can be seen here. The static sensitivity was also calculated from these plots and can be seen here as well. The experimental static sensitivity is slightly lower than that listed on the spec sheet for the sensor, which can be explained by these uncertainties. From our data gathered, we plotted output voltage versus time, which can be seen here. From the step responses, we were able to determine settling time, percent overshoot, and rise time, which, average, which averages of the three trials can be seen here. From the percent overshoot and rise time, we were also able to calculate the damping ratio and natural frequency, respectively. The existence of these parameters is indicative of a second order system, but these results are relatively unreliable because there is noise in the plots where data was picked to do the analysis. In conclusion, our sensor is a second order system with an uncertainty of 0 0.8230 volts a G, with a static sensitivity of 0.7241 volts a G. The sensor also has a natural frequency of 5.079 Rads a second and damping ratio of 0.1448.